I'm sitting here with these two because we're going to talk about Pollux and all of his little quirks. Pollux has been with us. Um, how long you been here, Pollux? Let's do the math. He's been with us eight months, basically, at this point, almost nine months. And so I feel like I've really gotten to know Pollux, all of his quirks, his habits, things he likes, things he doesn't like. And you all asked me a lot of questions about things you see in videos. And you actually asked me lots of questions about Maxi. So today's video, I'm going to kind of answer some of your questions and explain to you this quirky dude. Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Renee and I'm so glad you're here. But it is a lazy Sunday in our house and I wanted to answer some of your questions about my two dogs. You all send me so many questions about Maxi and Pollux, things that you see them do in my video, things that you want updates on, things you have questions about, um, such as, how come Maxi gets to eat before Pollux? Why don't I feed them at the same time? Why does Pollux's bed have holes all over it? Why don't I get Pollux a new bed? Where is Henrietta? And if you all have been on my channel, you know that Pollux's favorite toy is Henrietta. But where is she? Does Maxi like toys? You will never see Maxi chewing toys in any of my videos. But just silly questions like that. Things you all want to know, things that you ask me. And so Pollux and Maxi and I are going to answer your burning questions today. And... Pollux is getting a brand new toy. His daddy got him a brand new toy. You all ask me if Pollux chews up things in my home. Does he tear up my furniture? Does he get a hold of things he's not supposed to? And the answer is no, not really, but there were a couple times. After Brecken left for college, if you all watched the video about us dropping our daughter off at the University of Kentucky and moving her into her dorm room, in the video, I shared with you all that Brecken left behind her stuffed Winnie the Pooh. She left it in her bedroom. And the next morning after Brecken had moved out, I was in my office here sitting at my computer. Pollux went up into Brecken's room and got Winnie the Pooh and brought her down and laid her on the couch. It was so sad. He misses his bee girl and he just, he wanted to love on Winnie. And Pollux really has only chewed up one thing in my house. Shortly after we got Pollux, when he was, we were all just getting adjusted to each other, I would hear this strange noise coming from our dining room. I could never, I didn't know what was going on. The noise didn't make sense. I would go in here and check on Pollux and nothing. He'd just be laying under the dining room table. Well, one day I discovered what he was doing and um, he has stopped doing it. He doesn't do it anymore, but this is something I can't fix. But let me show you what he did. So here's our dining room and Pollux chewed up the corner to one, oh, dog hair, <laughs> to one dining room chair. This is what I heard him chewing on and I couldn't figure out what, was, what he was doing but this, he chewed the corner of one of my chairs. Other than that one corner of my dining room chair, Pollux has never torn up anything in our house. He primarily sticks with his toys and his things, my socks, and then of course, Winnie the Pooh. Pooh has on a little red t-shirt and Pollux tore the t-shirt off of Pooh and he was bringing him to me, but Pooh is safe. I've got his little t-shirt back on and he is up in Brecken's room waiting for Brecken to come home. Yeah, you just wanted to see Pooh a minute. What are you doing? He is a quirky, quirky guy. He, he just has, has some quirks and I love it about him because I have some quirks too. So I wanna tell you about Pollux's toy habit. That is the, the number one quirk that Pollux has. Do you have a toy habit, Pollux? <laughs> well, this is another habit. He wants me scratching him or rubbing him always. If I stop moving my hand, <laughs> He will nip at me, he will paw at me, he will, he doesn't lick me, Pollux never licks. He always wants me patting, rubbing, scratching something to remind me, uh, hey, hello, you're supposed to be paying attention to Pollux. You want me to pet you, Pollux? <laughs> but let's talk about Pollux's toys. Pollux and his quirky toy habit. Right, buddy? Yeah, I see ya. Pollux loves toys any kind of toys. He loves these little bones. You can see he has completely shredded off the end 
of all of his bones. Pollux loves all kinds of rubbery, chewy, squeaky. I touched it. Poof, this one. Do that one. <laughs> Pollux does not like when the camera is on him. Right, right, buddy? What? What is it? So, y'all can tell I'm in a new space. This is my new office. I, I moved my office from upstairs to downstairs. And in the moving of all of the furniture, I moved the dog's couch. I was going to put it on a different wall. Well, when I moved it, we found Pollux's tennis ball. Randy gave Pollux a tennis ball, I'm talking months ago, and it just disappeared. Well, apparently, it was under this couch. And so when I moved the couch, Pollux found his tennis ball. And so he played with that thing. He would drop it and it would bounce and he would chase it and he would get up on the couch and he has torn the little fuzzy cover off of the tennis ball. But that, that was a big day when Pollux got his tennis ball. But in the rearranging of my office, I had to move Pollux's toy basket, which has always been in this front room. And so I moved it here. Pollux's toy basket is now here in the corner. Look at all of his toys. Here's another squeaky little, oh boy, ball it. <laughs> squeaky little bone thing that he loves. Here's all of his little rubber, or not rubber, little rope bones. He loves these things. He just mutilates the ends. This is a fire hydrant from one of our other dogs, and Pollux loves to chew on the fire hydrant. This was a Christmas toy. He has completely chewed off both ends of it. But you can see how filthy this is. He loves to take this out in the yard and then I have to go get it. And this was Maxie's little Nala bone that Pollock stole. And didn't you? Uh-huh. Pollock stole Maxie's little brand new bone and claimed it as his and puts it in his toy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he put Maxie's little Nala bone in his toy basket. Here's Henrietta. Y'all remember Henrietta from the first time that we took Pollux shopping at a pet store? He picked out Henrietta <laughs> out of a huge basket of toys. He, he wanted Henrietta. He was scratching at the toy basket to get Henrietta. And here she is. We still have Christmas Henrietta. Look, she's in her, her Christmas bikini. Right, Pollux? <laughs> and then here's one of his favorite femur bones filled with peanut butter. If I touch a bone, he got to play with it. You want to test them all out? See, we've already got a whole pile of bones just because I touched them. That's a pretty hefty bone, dude. But let's give Maxie this little one back. Let's see. Mooey. Mooey. Look, Pollux had your bone. Do you want it? Do you want to play with your bone? Are you in the mood? You, a lot of you will ask me about Maxie and his favorite toys. And the answer is, the Maxer has never been one to play with toys. He doesn't like to chew on things. He's always had bad teeth. Ever since he was a puppy, his teeth have not been good. And so I think the bones hurt his teeth. And this one is super like flexible and he will, he'll chew on this one for a couple minutes, but bones and toys really aren't his thing. He's just a pretty relaxed dude. But last year, Maxie had several teeth pulled. And so if you ever see him with his tongue hanging out, it's because he is missing a bunch of his front little teeth and his tongue will hang out. So he not a toy type of dog, but we'll put it right here in case you want a Mooey. Are you gonna sniff it? No, you were sure to take a nap. You all have heard me comment before that Pollux loves to take his toys out into the yard. But Pollux accumulates a pile of toys in the yard and we have to go out there and collect them because the, the lawn mowing crew will run over his toys. So today I was looking for some certain toys. I knew they had disappeared. There are two places Pollux keeps toys. In his toy basket here in the front room or in his bed in the living room. Well, Kendall asked me this morning, we were FaceTiming and she was talking to Pollux. Well, she was talking. She was talking to Pollux and she said, what's up with this birthday bone? Let me see it. You all saw the big stuffed dog bone that said party that he got for his second birthday. Well, he has completely mutilated the bone. He's pulled out all the stuff and it is basically a rag, but he loves it. He drags this rag around. He's very proud of his birthday bone. 
So when I went to get it, it's gone. I realized it's out in the yard. So Brandy and I today went out in the yard and I want to show you what we found. Come on, let's get the bones out of the yard. Come on. So this is the wheat. Y'all have seen it before. Pollux loves the wheat. He does zoomies in the wheat. Maxie and Pollux love to get in here and play and hide and do all these things. We'll look at what we found this morning. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm having to get in the wheat. Look what's in the wheat. Birthday bone, green bone, blue bone. All of his toys in the wheat. Plus a hole that he dug. I don't know how I'm gonna get these suckers out. But this is where he's hiding his toys. Whew! I'm gonna use this. I don't even know what this is, honestly. It's a little miniature rake. Let's see if we can get the toys. Don't move. Man, you're slow moving today. Bollocks, <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh, what is that? Mama's gonna get your toys. Oh, birthday bone. Pollux, we're gonna have to wash this birthday bone, buddy. He dirty. Oh my, birthday bone. Green bone, blue bone, green bone. Bud, why you have all your things out here? Were you, were you burying them? Now, buddy, I just picked those up. What are you doing? <laughs> mm. He gonna go put them back out there, I bet you. Oh, no, off he gonna go this way. <sighs> this, oh my gosh, this is the birthday bone. Look at this. It did say party. This was Pollux's birthday bone that he got two and a half months ago. Pulled out all the stuff and ripped up the bone so he just drags around this little rag. And then here's one of his Nyla bones that he loves to chew on, covered in mud. Buddy, where'd you put the bone? Huh? No, you can't take the birthday bone. <laughs> oh, he picked the blue one. Off he goes. Look, oh my gosh, she's going back in the wheat. Pollux, I just got that out of there. No, buddy. <laughs> Why did you put that back in there? Was it your secret hiding spot? Uh, look at that. The blue bone is back in the wheat. Come on, let's go get Max or a little toy. You've been chewing on your stuff. Come on, Mooey. Come on. Oh, Pollux. Found them. <laughs> what you doing, Mooey Moo? <laughs> Pollux, and are you in your boat? Daddy calls this Pollux's boat. Can you show us your boat? <laughs> What you got here? You got the donut that is completely mutilated. Can we see the donut? So this is Pollux's boat and bed. Current situation of his bed. But he loves it. He lays in here. He sucks on his toys and chews on his toys just like it's his little pacifier. You got a passy in there, Pollux? It's his comfort. It's what he likes to do. It's Pollux's tennis ball that he found under the couch in the front room when I was redoing my <laughs> my office. <laughs> oh, you didn't want me to touch that? <laughs> so he has ripped the cover off of it. This is his tough dog donut that he has finally, oh boy, pulled out the rope that was inside. That's just nothing left. Then we got, let's see, today we got a femur bone with some peanut butter. This is his squeaky ball that he'll toss up in the air. I want to tell you about this donut. So this is a donut that Randy bought for Pollux back in February. We've had it six months. It is a tough dog donut. We bought two little cheaper donuts. Pollux loved them, but he immediately like ripped them up, ripped out all the stuffing. So Randy found this tough dog donut on Amazon, bought it, and it has lasted six months. And then the other day he finally pulled out, there was a rope bone inside that he shredded to pieces. So we figured it was time to get a new donut. What are you doing, Mooey? Are you watching dad? What you doing, sweet boy? 
Hmm, you don't like toys, do you? They hurt your teeth. They just hurt your teeth. Can we see your little teethies? <laughs> no, not down there. They're in your mouth, Moo. So Maxie does have one little favorite chew toy and I keep it in the dog's snack cabinet. And when I did the video showing you what was in the snack cabinet, we actually had a different version of it at the time, but we got something new and this is what he really loves. Well, we got Moo. It's these little dream bones and they're twist, peanut butter twist, and they're just little bitty, it, 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 they mimic rawhide, but they're made out of chicken. So you want one of these, Moo? You want one? Here, Mama, give you one of those. Off he goes. But see how little and skinny those are, and they're very fragile, and Maxie just loves them. Pollux! See, not rawhide. Chicken. Pollux, do you want one? Pollux! Hey, oh, he got the donut. Come here. Do you want to do you want a chicken chew? Come here. Come here. Oh, now what are you going to do? You can't hold two toys. <laughs> How is that, Moo? Yeah, it's perfect for Maxie. Oh. Pollux, do you want this? Okay, perfect. Pollux will have that thing eaten in 1 second. Oh. Is it all gone, Mooey? Okay, so according to the timer on my phone, it took the Maxer four minutes and 20 seconds to eat that little chew bone. Was it good, Moo? Was it good stuff, Mooey? Y'all just had one. You can't have another. What are you looking at me like that for? So I guess I'm gonna rinse that off. Yeah. Right, Pollux? Yeah. No, no, no. Let me, can I get the mud off of it? Wait a minute. No, no. Let me just get the mud off. Hold on a sec. All right, that's better. Clean. That's better. Want it? Okay. What's he got, Maxer? He's a chewer, that's for sure. Come on, Moo. Come on, don't get up here with me. Okay. Yeah, we'll just let Pollux chew his toy right. Look at his sweet eyebrows, y'all. Can you show him your eyebrows, Pollux? You're so close to me. You look at those eyebrows. That is what got me in his Facebook picture that day. Those little sweet eyebrows. All right, so Randy got Pollux, a new toy. We're gonna give it to him, a new tough donut. Come here, Pollux. Moo just watching. Oh. Special delivery for Pollux. Oh, let's see it. Made tough. Ooh. What is it, Pollux? Is it for you? Maxie says he doesn't care. <laughs> you don't like toys. He don't like toys. It's a good thing there's no jealousy issue because he don't like toys. What's he doing, Pollux? Has he got a toy for you? They got a squeaker. <gasps> oh. Oh boy. Look, Maxie doesn't even raise his head. He doesn't care. Oh my. Pollux, do you love it? Moo, you just don't care at all. Oh, up on the couch with the Moo. Oh my God, that's cute. That's adorable. What you gonna do with it, Pollux? Y'all, is this the cutest picture you've ever seen? 
Look with the pillow where it says together and they're together. Aww. <laughs> he decided he wasn't gonna sit with the maxer. Pollux, why? Why are you trying to tear a hole in it? You just got it. Y'all see him working that tooth? Why, buddy? Why? <gasps> you already ripped a hole in it, buddy. You just got it from daddy. Look at him closing his eyes. It's almost like a comfort thing, like a baby sucking on a pacifier. He loves chewing on his toys. Seriously, I think he's gonna go to sleep. I'm serious, look at his little eyes closing. It's like putting him in a trance. Hey, Pollux, I, did y'all see that? I swear he was going to sleep. Mooey, what do you think about it? Do you even care, Moo? You don't even care, do you, buddy? You just don't even care about it. You just want a Judy. Because I've talked about Pollux's toys in so many of my videos, you all have made lots of comments. And some of your comments make a lot of sense to me. Because he was raised in a shelter, he lived there his entire life until we adopted him, Pollux never had anything of his own. Nothing, he had no possessions. And so his toys are very important to him. And because when you all started commenting and telling me that, I mean, I truly see that in him. He loves and he protects and he enjoys everything he is given. And that is one of his best features. I love that about Pollux. He is so appreciative and so loving. Uh, when I was testing all the robot vacuums and I was filming that video, I shared with you all a little snippet on my Instagram page. Here's the rest of what went on. I had taken all of Pollux's toys, picked them up from all over the living room and put them in his bed. And I moved his bed into the kitchen. And Pollux went into the kitchen got in his bed and laid on top of his toys. He was protecting his toys from me and the robot vacuum. And so this is what he did. And I just thought that was so, so sweet. I love that little video of Pollux. He looks so innocent and you can see in his eyes that he was afraid I was gonna do something with his toys. And so he just got in his bed to protect his possessions. Something else Pollux does. You all have commented so much about his bed. And let me tell you the, the whole story about that bed. One day, just out of the clear blue, he went bonkers and tore up the bed. He just started nipping holes in the bed, not eating the bed, um, but he would nip holes and then pull the stuffing out of the bed. And so after about a week of this, I just, I couldn't believe it. I thought, well, he hates this bed. And so I threw it away and I got another bed. Do you like it? Do you like it, Felix? That's a face of a happy boy. You happy boy. It wasn't 10 stinking minutes after I got him that new bed, he started ripping holes in it. But I've decided that is how he wants his bed. He likes his bed with the holes in it. He is not eating the stuffing. He nips the holes, he pulls out the stuffing, there's balls of stuffing all over the floor or in his bed and I either pick them up every couple of days or I just leave them. It's like he's made his little nest. That is how he wants it. He's comfortable with the holes. He continues to make more holes. He's just, he's making it his. He's personalizing his bed. And that is how he loves it. And so that is why I just leave his bed alone. I'm Another question I get asked a lot is about Maxi and why he gets to eat before Pollux. Maxi has a little bit of food aggression. He is a super laid back, super chill guy until it comes to food. He doesn't care about treats. It has nothing to do with the little bones or the little chickeny bones that you all saw me give them. It's only when it is meal time. He has always been this way. It is not anything specific to Pollux. But when we had three schnauzers at one time, 
The other two Schnauzers could eat together. Maxie always had to eat separate from them. We actually had to put Maxie in another room while the other two were eating. And it didn't ma matter if we fed Maxie first or last. He would always growl. He would try to come up behind the other two dogs when they were eating. And so when our other two Schnauzers passed away and Maxie was our only dog for about a year and a half or so, he was used to just eating by himself. There was nobody else around. When we got Pollux, we decided because of Maxie's food issues, Maxie always needs to eat first and then it just eliminates any problem at all. And so we always feed Maxie. Pollux patiently waits. Pollux was used to, because of his shelter life, just getting fed when he got fed. Um, and so he has no food issues. Pollux does not have any aggression whatsoever. And so he just patiently waits while Maxie eats and then Pollux knows it's his turn. Pollux doesn't care. Maxie is the one that cares. Here they come, it's their time. So see, Maxie's waiting. Pollux is in the hall. He doesn't interfere. Oh, whoa! You made me spill it, Moo. So see, Pollux just waits. It's no problem. Yeah, you patiently wait your turn. Maxie got a lick as well, really, really good. And Maxie gets a drink of water. And he's gonna lick his bow. And he's gonna lick his bow again. Gotta double check it. Make sure we didn't miss something. All right, Moo. Oh, gotta triple check it today. And then he walks away. So that's Maxie's telling me he's done. And now it's Pollux's turn, right, Pollux? You. Last one. Okay, ready, Pollux? It's your turn now. gets to eat and everybody's happy. What'd you turn in that way for? <laughs> so that's it guys. I hope I answered all of your questions about Pollux and Maxie and why they do what they do and why I do what I do. Everybody has their quirks. Pollux has quirks. <laughs> Like I said earlier in the video, Maxi is he's nine years old. He's just a super chill, laid back, not really concerned about anything type of dude. Where Pollux, he's two, he has so much energy. He loves to run and play and chew. He loves his toys, he loves to be with me, and he loves to be with his brother, Maxi. So we just all kind of hang out together and enjoy each other and love each other to pieces. If you all have any more questions about Maxi and Pollux, just comment below. Ask me a question, I'll let you know, or it may show up in another video. But until next time, we're going to chill, and we'll see you later.